What is up, Copy Squad? It's your boy, Kyle Milligan of KyleTheWriter.com, and today we're going to talk about the worst mistake beginner freelance copywriters make. Now, what inspired today's lesson is something I've seen on Facebook, especially like Facebook copywriting groups, time and time again, and it strikes at like every beginner freelancer does this exact same thing over and over and over when they're pitching clients. And I think it's probably like the worst mistake you can make and probably like the very, very first thing you do to shoot yourself in the foot and they do it in their first sentence of their first attempt at getting their first client. And it seems to happen to like 99 out of 100 beginner freelance copywriters. Has nothing to do with your copywriter portfolio, has nothing to do with getting copywriting samples, has nothing to do with like going to a freelance writing jobs for beginners or something like that. It has everything to do with your pitch. And I'll give you a couple examples. I saw one today. Basically, freelance copywriters, especially beginners, you're shooting yourself right in the foot. First mistake is basically you're confusing or misinterpreting the big four emotions in some way. Okay, my big four emotions are new, easy, safe, and big. And either the people that I'm seeing are straight up neglecting this stuff. And it's people that follow me. That's why I'm that's why I'm like disappointed. It's like either you're just straight up ignoring new, easy, safe, and big while making like public pitches in Facebook groups where I can see them. You're either ignoring the big four emotions, or maybe you're not ignoring them. Maybe you've just misinterpreted the most important one. And that most important emotion is new. So the biggest, most important emotion in the big four emotions is new because new inspires hope, right? New is the chance at some sort of new opportunity, some sort of thing that hasn't been tried before that might actually give you exactly what you've been looking for, give you like some sort of some new hope, I guess. Uh, the big four emotions are the whole subject of my copywriting book called Take Their Money at kylethewriter.com forward slash book if you're interested in learning how to speak the language of copywriting. So I think that's that's what we're getting at here. The people who are new to freelance are missing out or missing the, the meaning of speaking the language of copywriting or, or they're just speaking it poorly. They're like, they're like speaking Spanglish, but for copywriting. So what I'm seeing is new copywriters, fresh to the scene, announcing like their copywriting coming out party. Like, hey guys, I'm going to give copywriting a shot. Why don't you hire me for XYZ dollars and see what I can do for you? I don't know if this is a misinterpretation of the emotion of new or just like a total disregard for the big four emotions in general. But this is like this is like the single-handedly worst thing that you can do when pitching somebody is say, I have no experience or clue about what I'm doing. Like, what? Don't do that. And I have to give them the benefit of the doubt and think, okay, maybe they're just trying to say I'm new and they think that's like a breakthrough sort of thing. But the purpose, let me re-explain the big four emotions as I explain them in the book new simply means it's a breakthrough it's like a it's a it's not necessarily brand new it didn't have to be discovered or revealed today except for to that person so i said yesterday's video if i told you about muscle confusion right we could say muscle confusion has been around for years now the idea of the uh diet or exercise fad muscle confusion that marketing concept has been around for a while but if it's the first time you've heard of it it's like a big breakthrough right it's like this new thing that you can try that gives you fresh hope what you don't want to do is say there is a totally untested diet and exercise program that has absolutely no results to speak of that you should begin trying today because it's new. That's not right, dude. That neglects the, all right, so new, easy, and then that neglects safe. So let's explain what safe really means. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more example. Outside of copywriting, just to give you context, someone cold emailed my girlfriend yesterday. She wants, she said, hey, I'm a graphic designer. I'd love to help you build your business. Why don't you just send me some money and I'll do some work from you? Basically, that's like her pitch, right? And my girlfriend said, I don't know what to do. Should I hire her? And I said, I'll tell you what to do. Ask for her portfolio. Just ask for the portfolio. She did not respond. She had nothing to say. And I was like, exactly. It's like the cold giveaway. This person has no idea what they're doing. So basically, that's that's the third emotion, safety, okay? So don't want to pay somebody to do something that they have no idea what they're doing, and you don't want to announce to the world that you have no idea what you're doing. So here's what you do instead. 
Um, we got new, easy, safe, and big, all right? So new means like it's breakthrough, it's like something brand new to the scene. It is an, it's an opportunity that you've never experienced before and you only get it through me, okay? You can only get it here. You can only get it now through this product, right? It's, it's exclusive to this thing, it's brand new, and it comes with this, this whole marketing pitch, okay? So that is your expertise, right? And that's gonna lend itself to some safety in a minute. Second, easy, so new, easy. Easy means I can handle everything for you. All you gotta really do is point me in the right direction and I'll write up all your emails or I'll write your long form sales letter. I'll do this or do that, the other. That's easy, That's you want to pitch that. You wanna pitch new, easy, safe, and big. Uh, that's easy. Safe, okay? As soon as you say, hey guys, I'm gonna give copywriting a shot. You have completely eliminated 100% of your credibility. The answer is no, no, no. No. If you're if you're a freelance copywriter, you should know how to sell. And the worst thing that you can say is try this untested, unproven strategy or, or hire me or pay me money to influence your business and I've never worked in this business before. It's a complete utter opposite of what you should be doing. All right, so for safety, I got this question yesterday. Well, what if I don't have any copywriting experience? Doesn't matter as long as you know how to pitch the safety element. What you're looking for is some credibility, right? I used an example yesterday's video that when I asked Joe Schrafer, the publisher of Agora Financial, for a job, I told him I got an SEO book for my birthday or for Christmas. I can't remember which one. And I said, that's how quirky and weird I am, is my girlfriend knew that I would love to read a technical SEO book, and she got it for a, a gift, and I was stoked has nothing to do with copywriting. Has to do with me being a curious individual who like to learn new things. Do you see the difference there? I didn't say, hey man, I've got no copywriting experience. I said, hey Joe, I'm a, I'm, I'm a curious individual. I love to learn new things. And I actually just got an SEO book as a present for Christmas. Someone else would have thrown a lamp at the wall and they would have broken up immediately. Not this guy, I'm a total nerd and I love to learn new things. Do you see how I took that and I created some safety, I created some credibility, I gave myself, I had no copywriting experience, man. I didn't know what I was doing and I work for the biggest financial publisher in the world because I know how to sell. New, easy, safe. And as soon as I say to someone, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really know where to start or where to go and uh, I want you to pay me and put the put your business's future in my hands. Like, that's, that doesn't make any sense. I'll tell you the only time that using that your brand new works. And I use it. I'll explain, I'll give you an example that's clear as day. I I actually announced that I've been at Agora for a little over one year. Okay? And the only time that that actually builds credibility is whenever I put, oh by the way, I grossed seven point one million dollars in a single year. I got hired October 2nd, 2017, and the year 2018, I grossed over $7.1 million. Well, that's just like a dynamo. That's like a prodigy. Like, oh, in one year I did all this that fast? Then all of a sudden being new was a cool thing. But just flat out being new and having like zero experience to speak of does not help your case. So whenever you're pitching somebody, if you're a freelance copywriter, the last thing you should do is bring to the table that you have no idea what you're doing. Remember, it's not what you say, it's what you communicate. And when you say, hey guys, I'm gonna give this copywriting thing a try, you're communicating that I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any case studies, testimonials, or experience. That's the total opposite of, of what you should be doing. Instead, you wanna be using new, easy, safe, and big as I outline in my book called Take Their Money, and it's available at kyletherwriter.com forward slash book, okay? That's, that's so crucial. Right, let's see what else, big. Big. So your testimonials, case studies, your results need to be big. They need to move the needle in whoever you're pitching's life. You need to kind of demonstrate, hey, I can help you move the needle in your business in a big way. Don't sell yourself short. Don't say you have no experience. Don't say you don't have anything to offer. That's bull malarkey. And if you want to be a copywriter, you better figure out how to spin your boring resume into something appealing. Your job is sales and print. That is all you're supposed to do. So you take bland information and you convert it into something appealing using new, easy, safe, or big. One of those four emotions. If you can't figure it out, buy my book. It's called Take Their Money. It's at kyletherwriter.com forward slash book. It will teach you how to embed new, easy, safe, and big into otherwise innocuous and boring information. That's the number one, the worst mistake beginner freelance copywriters make. My name is Kyle Milligan. Thanks so much for tuning in, Copy Squad. Peace out.